Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to the first video of a lying fisherman. Today we're going to be making a dragonfly pattern. <clears throat> what I'd like to talk about is we're going to start off with some elk hair. Um, I like to use this because it's got some good buoyancy to it. Uh, I usually start off with about, oh, I don't know, decent sized clump, 30, 40 hairs, give or take a little. So take that. Cut it off at the bottom, and then start working out some of the guard hairs. Let's see, get out quite a few here, some fuzz. You should be down to something that looks about like that. Um, don't worry about lining everything up or getting it perfect, that's not really a big deal. Um, after you get it sorted out, take and pull out your thread, put an overhand knot in it. This will help as soon as you lay the leader and the size 12 hook in it and start spinning it. You're not going to have enough hands to figure out what to do. So get yourself a little knot. Nothing spectacular, just a little one. Then grab yourself your pre-tied up nymphing size 12 could use a 14 if you wanted to also. Uh, go to my blog and you can see where and how I tied it up. You just want to take that incorporate it into your hair. Don't worry about getting everything perfect. It's not a big deal at all. You have it about like that. You have everything worked in. Come up with your overhand knot. work it down over the end you're just going to pull it snug okay like I said don't worry about being perfect hold on to it watch out for that hook it'll stick you pull out a little bit of thread and just roll that end Trying to get a little bit of a thread base just like you would on a normal hook. Just roll it. You'll end up with a nice little thread base. So keep spinning it. You should be getting wraps that look a little bit like that. Hope that shows up. See how they're spinning along? That's what you want. Let's see if I can bring it in. There you go. I don't mean to imply this is easy in any way, shape, or form. It's tedious, but it looks good. It looks pretty natural. It's got some durability to it. Um, when it sits on the surface film, it looks fairly natural. As you get up towards the tip here, just about towards the end, maybe the length of your thumbnail, give or take a little, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, you want to stop and again give a little bit of a thread base, a little bit of a, a build up. See that right there? Just want to take and build that up a little bit. Not much. Just maybe half a dozen wraps. Pull out a little extra. Now we're going to start working down the shaft back down towards the bottom again. Again, a nice, even, slow, deliberate wraps. Trying to keep everything packed in. You don't really have any tension on it except for the weight of the bobbin. Um, just gravity, pinching it and using your fingers. 
it's it's tight enough the uh, the crazy glue at the end will hold everything together and give it its permanent hard case so we're just about back down to the bottom here so we're close so you want to get down to where we did the original thread wraps and go back over it it's okay if it comes undone a little we're gonna trim that off anyways so you just keep wrapping over that little bit of a thread base pull out an extra throw in an overhand knot and you're good you can go ahead and trim the thread so you end up with something that looks like this you've got your hook at the end and everything's wrapped up through so what you do is you hold here you grab the tag end you just gently pull your stinger hook real easy right into the tip you stop right there you don't want to bring it in too far just want it to sit naturally you don't want it to act like a whip just gently right there that's all you need now you'll take and you'll put a coat of crazy glue across the outside of it to make it stiff you just want to take and run it up and down the length of the shaft I usually use my fingers and smooth it in and work it out and make it nice and then when you're done with it it should be a little bit like this you can hear it that's the crazy glue it's still got some flexibility to it but it's just more solid so go ahead and grab your size 8 size 6 whatever size you want to feel we use whatever you're comfortable with lock it into your vise lay down a decent little thread base bring it all the way up to the barb it's about the last even spot before it starts to head down over the back trim it off grab your pre-made tail figure out what length you want it um, maybe a tail about like that that's where the head's gonna be this is about where the thorax is so we're gonna trim it at maybe about two-thirds about right there that looks good I kinda like that I'm into it okay so what I do here is I take and I do about three one two three pinch it down put one under You'll start to break the seal a little bit that's what you want you're gonna start to break that crazy glue bond so there's two, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop there, straighten it out. Is that what you want? And then put two under. One, two, ah, put three under. Lock that sucker in place. Put one over top. Two, three, four, five, six. seven eight nine ten straighten it out again make sure you're on line got a little bit back here that's not quite right bring that in lock that in okay couple under back over the body again make it back on point bring it back on even wrap it down again Throw a couple under, back around, even it out, lock it down, lock it down solid. 
put a couple up front and then just throw a little half inch in it the half inch up front right there okay inspect it make sure that's what you want tails lined up everything's good put a little crazy glue on it okay now that you've got the crazy glue down and you've got your thread run all the way back to the barb you want to grab some dubbing I like my March Brown dubbing it's got a little bit of uh, sparkle in it so run out a little bit of thread grab yourself a uh, pinch of dubbing and then start running it onto your thread I don't use dubbing wax um, some people do some people don't I don't need it um, my fingers are never dry I it's gonna sound kinda weird I just use the oil in my fingers it's just enough it doesn't clump it it doesn't make it weird I don't end up with buildups or anything like that um, just take it and run it onto it get it right so that that way you're happy with it if you gotta second guess it second guess it and start over it's no big deal in the end you're trying to make something that looks natural natural things don't have junk coming off of them So take a couple wraps fix your dubbing where the thorax is this is where the wings are going to be so you want to kind of build it up a little bit oops sorry about that oh that's just terrible <laughs> oh wow okay I'm not really used to doing this yet with a camera in place depth perception challenged okay fix your dubbing 